Let me introduce you to the Lavoid Oasis Mist 1000S. And we've reviewed pretty much every single humidifier from Lavoid, but every single one of those had one limitation. The tanks were maxing out at about 6 liters. Here, the tank is going to be considerably larger, so it's going to give you 100 hours of runtime. So let's open it, let's show you what you get, and let's compare it to the traditional Oasis Mist just to see is it the same, but it just comes with a larger tank, or is there a real clear-cut difference except for the tank? So let's open it and let's check it out. So this is what you get inside of the box here. It comes pretty much as one big piece. This is the tank. This tank is massive. This is absolutely humongous. And um, there's a little pump in there, if you guys can see that. There's a little pump in there, and it's actually going to be attached to a f small filter. So these little filters are really engineered for hard water, so if you're getting a lot of blockages, you've got a lot of calcium buildup, this just helps uh, reduce that. Now, you will have to replace this more frequently if you have a lot of hard water or your home just uses a lot of hard water and you're not using distilled or you're not using reverse osmosis water. So this is going to be the actual humidifier. So all of the major electronic components, all of the menu commands, everything is going to be up top. If you want to add aromatherapy inside of your unit, well, it's really easy. They give you a little aromatherapy pad. You can just pop that in. And this is going to be just generally this large hole for your tank. Now, through this hole is just completely see-through. So if you guys can see my eye, I can see through this. So that's where this hole is going to be leading to. It just leads directly into the tank, so you just pour from the top. Or you could take the entire tank and fill this inside of your bathtub. So basically, this reminds me a lot of the traditional Oasis Mist. It's just a different shape and it's a little bit taller. See, that's how much water this holds. It holds a lot. Now, you want to hold it by the handles on both sides if you want to take this to your bathroom or your bedroom or wherever you're going to use this because if you don't use the handles, it could fall. So make sure to use those handles, guys. So now let me finish setting up our 1000S Oasis Mist. And that's it. You really, that's the entire setup here. You just pop it on the top. Now, one thing I want to make everyone sure of is that it's pretty stable, but I can just pop it off just as easily. There's no lock here. There's no button to lock this in. You can just pop it off. So if you were to knock this over, it would, the potential is that this can entirely come off and then you can spill all the water on the ground. Just make sure you do not knock this over. I do think in the future iterations of the 1000S, you will see some type of lock here so that it doesn't just tip over and fall, fall on the floor. 450S. So 450S, this is the 1000S. If you look at the screens, the screens are pretty similar. Now they have the buttons on the 450S in the front. On the 1000S, it's going to be on the top. So let me give you the first key difference between the 1000S and the 450S, is that the 450S, this smaller edition, is going to be coming with the warm mist feature. So this actually has a rated power of closer to 280 watts because it has to heat water. The rated power on your 1000S is going to be 27.5 watts. So that's not going to be a real good comparison because this has warm mist. So on the 450S, you get a 4.5 liter tank, as you see here. It also has a different configuration on the bottom just because it has the warm mist features. But on your 1000S, you're getting a 10 liter tank, which is by far so much bigger than any of the other Lavoids. Even on the top end where you're getting the Lavoid 600S, you get the Lavoid 6 liter systems, you get the, the more premium Lavoid humidifiers, they're topping out at 6 liters. This is four additional liters. So that is a 66% increase in the overall capacity, which is gonna dramatically affect how long you can operate your unit without having to refill it. If you're looking at overall runtime, the Oasis Smith 450S is gonna have a runtime of about 45 hours, which is already very good, especially when you consider that's on the lowest mist setting. But on the 1000S, this is gonna have a 100 hour runtime, which is more than double this. If you're looking at effective range, your Oasis Mist 1000 is going to be closer to 315 to 600 square feet. Here, it's going to be closer to about 200 to 400 square feet. So if you're comparing the volume on Cool Mist on your 1000S versus your 450, it's just going to be about the same. It's somewhere between 27 to 28 decibels. In our testing, we're getting somewhere closer to about 27 decibels on the lowest setting on both of them. So we're just going to turn this down. Now I'm sitting right next to it. If you guys can hear it in the background, I don't think you can, but it is 
barely audible. It is, I, my ear is right here, it is barely audible. From about two feet away, the drone, it, it has a really, really very, very hard to hear drone. So if you were not paying attention to it, you might not know that it's even on. So setting this up on your phone is gonna be really easy. So I'm opening up the VSync app. Now I have a lot of VSync devices. So we are gonna be adding in the Lavoid Oasis Mist 1000S. It will just appear right there for you. So it's gonna say add device. You wanna hold the power button down for five seconds. So it will go into a Wi-Fi pairing mode. And there's gonna be a little indicator light there that blinks up to let you know. So we, we see that. It's gonna say found device, and now we're connecting. So we have the app set up. I can just turn it on and off. So watch what I do here. So if I wanna turn it off, it will just turn off on its own. Uh, if I wanna turn it on, I can turn it on. There is gonna be more adjustable power settings, at least in terms of controlling the output. On the onboard menu, you can adjust it from one, two, and three. On your app, you can actually adjust it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine different settings in terms of the output. And it, you can see, I just put it on nine. This is on like maximum. It, it looks like I'm doing kind of like a smoke show around me. If I want to lower that, I can just also either put it on sleep. So on sleep mode, it's going to be very, very quiet, but it's still going to be operating. It's still definitely operational here. And if I wanted to put it on auto mode, auto mode is gonna give me a target humidity level. So you can set that target humidity at the level you want. In your device settings, you'll also have the ability to check out the voice command. So if you wanna use it with your Alexa, you can. You can say turn off your humidifier, turn on your humidifier. You can also do set cool on humidifier to low. You know, there's a lot of different functions here. You have a plant mode here, and plant mode is quite interesting. So depending on which plant you raise, you can have this adjust itself based on the plant. Let's say I'm raising some orchids inside of my home. Orchids are difficult. They need partial sun and shade, and they require about 60 to 80% relative humidity, and it gives you all the temperature settings that you want, as well as the light settings for raising your orchids properly. You can set this device to help you set that humidity so you have optimal growing conditions for your plant or your vegetables. Other than that, you just want to make sure that you understand how to utilize these smart scenes. So I can set my and create smart scenes. So if I want my humidifier to auto start or stop, we'll start misting when the relative humidity dips below a target humidity. So that's 40%. And if I want it to auto stop, if it goes above 50%, well, it's going to auto stop. So that means it's always going to stay within about 40 to 50%, but there is a 5% grace. So if it ever goes to 35%, then it's gonna kick in. If it goes to 55%, then it's gonna kick off. Now, if I wanna change my target humidity, I can either bring it down to 40. So here it says the relative humidity you want is somewhere you want it to between 40 and 60%. You can have auto off, so your humidifier will automatically stop producing mist when it reaches your target humidity and resumes its humidity levels drop 5% below the target humidity. You have your indoor humidity chart and you can either turn off the display, so that means you can turn off the display or you can keep the display on, depending if you want the display on during while you sleep so it doesn't interfere or add any more light to your bedroom. Very simple to use interface, also a very easy to use humidifier with that smart scenes and that auto humidity. It just makes it a one-stop shop right now. If you wanna keep this clean over time, what you're gonna to wanna to do is just open this up and then open here up. You can take this to the sink and that, that area of there, you're gonna be cleaning that with vinegar. You just have to descale it, remove any of the mineral or calcium buildup, and then you're good to go. You wanna wipe that vinegar away just using a clean paper towel or a towel and the smell will dissipate over, I would say about two, three hours later. So now that we've described and shown you what the 1000S can do, and even compared it to the 450S, let's move on to, is this gonna be the right humidifier for you? I'm gonna make it really easy. If you have a large bedroom, that means you have tall ceilings, you're somewhere in that 250 square foot bedroom camp, this is probably the one you're gonna to wanna to go with. Why? Because general humidity, you don't need it that high. 
This, because of the 10 liter tank, means you don't have to refill your humidifier because that is, in my opinion, the number one reason why people don't use their humidifiers. It is not that it's too hard to turn on. It is not that it's too hard to clean. It is actually because people just forget to refill their tanks and it gets too annoying for them to refill it every day, so they stop using it. Here, because the tank is so large and if you run it 24 seven, on the lowest setting, even inside of that room, well, you're gonna be able to use this tank for closer to four days, 24 seven. Now, having the concept that I'd have to refill it every four, five, six days while having the Wi-Fi and having the remote, this just makes so much sense. And because it's a taller design, so if you look at it, the design is quite narrow. It really can fit into a lot of different spaces. It doesn't take a lot of space. But I will say, if you have kids, you will want to place this hopefully somewhere closer to the wall, just so if it, your kids can't knock it over. If you have it in the open space and there's not a lot of water, and this only weighs 6.4 pounds, you don't take, it doesn't take a lot, it really doesn't take a lot to just tip this over, guys. It, it, I mean, you can see how easy this is to tip off on its own. So that's what I'm, tr that's what I really want to share with you guys. So keep that in mind. That to me is really the only real drawback for me. I think all in all, this is just the thing that we've been asking for, a humidifier that works with an app that you can see the relative humidity inside of the room it's in that has an auto mode, but has a very large reservoir. So I don't need to refill it all the time. And even if you look at the height level, it is a good height. So it's basically similar to being on tabletop. So that works really well for me. And with that, that's our review of the Oasis Mist 1000S. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment box below. We'll get back to you. And if you, please hit that like or subscribe button because it really does help support our channel. And I'll catch you next time. This is David with the French Glow signing off.